Hello guys, this is Sabir. Today I'm going to show you how to configure Babylon.js development environment inside Visual Studio. So first thing first, you need to install Node.js and Python. Let's start installing Python. Keep in mind there is a very important step during installation of Python and which is add Python to path. The rest of the setting is fine and you can now just install Python. Also, there is no important step in installing Node.js, so I'm not going to show that in this tutorial. So you can just download Node.js and install in the default setting. The Python installation is done. Now press start and start Visual Studio. Keep in mind, you must use Visual Studio 2017 or previous version. Now go to the file, new, project, universal windows blank app. Also keep in mind, if you change the location to desktop or in C drive, this method might not work. Since the default location is in C drive, I'm going to change the location. Here I'm changing the project name into something like hello world because uh, why not? Okay, the project is ready. Now you can see on your left that Visual Studio created some folder, which is very good. Now right click in the JS folder, add new JavaScript file. We're going to rename the file name into something like babylon.max because that's the file name we downloaded from the GitHub page of Babylon. Here I opened the file babylon.max file in Sublime. You can open it in any text editor. Now if you are confused about where I found this file, just google babylon.js github from here, go to the first link in the babylon.js, in the github, go to the dist folder and if you scroll down, you will find something like babylon.max.js file. Click here, if you press download here, you will, it will show you something like this and which is not good for this scenario just right click and save link as this will save the file as www.max.js file I'm not going to save this because I already downloaded this earlier now select all by pressing ctrl a then copy and paste it in the www.max.js file it will take some moment because the file is used uh, after that Press Ctrl S to save the file. Also, if you can't see the Solution Explorer on the left, just go to View and here you can see the Solution Explorer. You can now close the babylon.max.js file because we don't need this anymore. Now open the index.html file, click and hold babylon.max.js file and drag it inside the HTML file. This will reference babylon.max.js file in the HTML file. Now open up the main.js file. Now if you try to write some babylon.js code, you can see Visual Studio is not doing its magic because we need to reference the babylon.max.js file in here too. Just like before, simply click and drag the babylon.max.js file inside the main.js file. Try to write some code again and you can see Visual Studio yet not helping us. Save and exit Visual Studio go to the project folder we have to do something here in order to make the visual studio work properly now press and hold shift right click open powershell here type the code python dash m http dot server enter this will create a simple http server in order to access it go to your browser just type http colon double slash localhost colon 8000. You can see it's working. So now we have to do our next step. Now press start and type cmd to open the command prompt window. Here we need to access this folder. So let's change the drive letter from C to just write E colon enter. This will change the drive. Now type cd and copy the location. and just paste it. Press enter. This will change the current directory to our project folder. Here type npm install babylon.js dash dash 
save this will create one folder and one files if you can see this json file and folder then all of our work is done if you can't see this json file and the folder you might need to rewatch the whole video and follow it step by step now i start typing some code here i'm typing just babylon and you can see the magic of visual studio already started and it's not just autocomplete our code it also giving us information about the function so this is it thank you for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe our channel if you don't give us a thumbs down also you can write your opinion in the comment box if you face any problem don't forget to write that in the comment box i will try my best to help you again thanks for watching and happy coding